How to find full-time remote work even if you're just starting out. Hello champions, freedom chasers. This is Kay. Thank you for watching this video. I know it's been a while since my last video and I had an intense contract recruiting assignment and so that's what I've been busy working on and now it's August 2018 the time is flying by and it's time for my kiddos to start school so I've been really busy but um, I'm actually headed to pick up groceries right after I record this video but I wanted to take time to record this video because I've been getting a lot of questions again and I know I've been off the scene for a while so um, been getting a lot of questions about how I do it, how I can find full-time remote work from home and make a real income, not just uh, this fly-by-night, hey, take a hundred surveys and get two dollars kind of thing. So I wanted to take some time to show you how I start my search. And this isn't going to be a very long video, I'm going to try to keep it short, but I want to be able to give you that information to help jumpstart your journey to finding the remote work you want. So let me tell you a little bit about me, just in case you don't know. My name is Kay. I've been working from home since May of 2012, and I started this channel, channel to help you, to help other people that are like me that want to enjoy the flexibility of working from home. And when I say like me, that's exactly what I mean. People who are looking for remote work, people like me who look for remote work. So I want to help anyone who wants to work from home and make a real income be able to do so. So I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm here to share knowledge with you and tell you that it's possible. So stick with me to the end and I will make you a fisherman of remote jobs. So let's see where we are at here. How to find full-time work. So as you know, before I do anything else, I always start off with a bit of motivation. And I just wanna tell you that you can have the work life you want. If you want to be able to control your own schedule, have flexibility and still make money, just like the people who fight traffic every day and ask for their time off, you can do it. Strength and growth come only through continuous effort and struggle, Napoleon Hill. So I will say that there have been many obstacles to my remote work journey, but I've only grown and become better and wiser at being able to find assignments and um, work and being able to make those connections. So it's been a growth experience so all the struggle is worth it and if you want to be able to work from home and you want a remote job you can find it trust me on that one i'm living proof there are no limitations on what you can be have or do and don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise okay so enough about that let's go ahead and get started um, let's look at how I start my search for full-time remote, remote work. So I'm just going to go up here and how I start my search is through Google. Um, what I do is in the bottom right-hand corner of Google, when you go to google.com, there is um, something that says settings. So click on that and then click on advanced search. When you do that, you're going to pull up a lot of different things, okay? And this is going to help you be able to narrow your search. So me, um, my background is human resources and recruiting. So let me preface everything that I'm saying and about to show you by saying this. If you do not have a resume that is in the field that you want that shows your skill set and what you can do, that is the first step to being able to work remotely from home. Make sure you have your resume. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but it needs to be able to display your skills in a way that someone who looks at 100 resumes a day would be able to say, you know what, I want to call that person. 
So it doesn't have to have all the bells and whistles and, and LinkedIn profiles, but it does need to explain more about you and your skill set. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is let's say that you were looking for, I'm going to use myself as an example. So uh, I was, I'm looking for a recruiting position. Right now I'm actually wanting a contract um, recruiter role. I've, recruiting is something I'm passionate about. I love to do it. I love to match great jobs and great people. It's just something I love. So let's go ahead and start with me. But if let's say you wanted to be a customer service representative, you would type that instead of recruiter. But I'm just using recruiter as an example. So you type the most important thing first that you want to see in all of the search results. So for me, I'm going to type, um, uh, right now I'm doing a contract recruiter and I put the quotes around recruiter so that is in every single result that comes up contract recruiter and you know what first and foremost I'm gonna type remote and I'm not gonna put the quotations around remote because Google understands that remote and virtual are the same thing, but if I put quotes around remote, then they'll automatically not show me anything that says virtual or freelance. So I hope that makes sense. Remote contract recruiter jobs. So this is just where I start. And then for region, I am going to pick um, United States because that's where I'm located but if you're in a particular region wherever you are you would put that but I like to narrow down the search results by putting only in the United States I also like recent search results so I'm gonna do anything that's happened within the past week um, and then I want to show the most relevant results and let's see what we can find here. And if the time frame past week doesn't work and give me what I want, then I'll do the past month, which will give me the entire past month. So, all right. As you can see, there are several positions in my town and also throughout the country. Of course, they pick up my town first because that is where... Um, I am located and Google tracks us. Google is watching people. They're watching. So it, it always normally will pick up where you're located first and then it kind of um, spans out from there. So, but these are all recent results within the last day to, you know, the last past week. So day to seven days, as you can see, two days ago, three days ago, four days ago. So what you do, what I would do is just start with, I would look to see if any that Google has where they're trying to make their searching a lot better as well, like searching for jobs. So they are creating an aggregator or they've created an aggregator that actually will let you go up and look. You can do jobs that have been posted recently and you can filter their results as well. Google is starting to work with a lot of ATS systems, which is applicant tracking systems that employers use. And so this is a great way to find some of those hidden positions that we, before you might not have been able to find. So you can start with this section, the Google section, and all those 63 jobs, and then go from there. Now, if you're more of a niche and more of a niche um, skill set or looking for a more of a niche remote job, there are other things that you can do as well, such as um, when you're typing in that niche and maybe you don't find anything, then what you would do is you would go to sites that um, only talk about remote positions sites like flex jobs or remote.co or um just different sites like that that all they do is hire remotely the other thing you can do is actually if you're having problems finding remote work is just type in companies that hire remote workers something like that into google and you will see tons of stuff come up it's basically like for me, it's like an awesome puzzle. I love it. It's like a game. Finding those 
um, unique positions that no one else can find and that are not sometimes not on Indeed or not on ZipRecruiter and just, you know, really having fun with it and, and searching and looking through. So that is how I start my search. But remember, before you do anything else, you have to have a resume that speaks to your skill set. So make sure that you have a resume with your contact information and um, be able to speak to your skill set. And then from there, you can come to Google and start this search. So that is how I start my search for full time remote work. Again, you can have the work life you want. Don't let anybody tell you that you have to go into an office from 9 to 5, 8 to 5, 10 to 7, 10 to 8, take a 30 minute lunch, an hour lunch. You know, you can have the work life you want. You can. And I'm living proof of that. If you have liked this video today, what I want you to do is hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more awesome videos like this one that share just a little bit about my tips and, and tricks and things that I do to find remote work, then what I want you to do is not only hit that thumbs up, but I want you to subscribe. And when you subscribe, I've had several subscribers lately, and of course I'm still just starting out, but um, when I, I've had people that subscribed and they didn't say anything, but I would love for you to subscribe and just say, hey, I subscribe. Let me know what type of work you're looking for and I can make a special video just for you to help you and, and jumpstart your thinking on how you can find a job, your a remote job that you want. So let me help you because that's the whole reason I made this channel for no other reason than to help you. Um, most of my videos don't even have affiliate links or anything like, or none of my videos have affiliate links, but some of my descriptions don't even have affiliate links or anything like that. Um, if it is an affiliate link, it's nothing that's going to cost you money unless you want me to help you look for some positions. Then I can send you leads for 20 bucks or whatever it is. But other than that, nothing. It's, it's absolutely free to you. I'm here to help. So I want to have you also hit that little bell so you never miss an awesome video to help you find the remote work that you want. Thank you so much for watching. I am truly excited for the journey. I'm ex truly excited to help you and I look forward to helping you in your remote work journey. Have an amazing day and I look forward to seeing you next time.